today's video, we're gonna be tinting the Silverado corner turn signal lights. Um, we're gonna be doing a light smoke, so not too dark. Uh, just enough to like get rid of all the clear, but not dark enough where you won't see the light coming through. Uh, show you the wrap that we're gonna be using today. It's my uh, Easy Auto Wrap. I purchased this wrap on eBay. Um, if I remember correctly. It was less than five bucks. I don't know the exact measurement, but it was cheap. I bought this a while back, so I don't remember exactly how much everything cost. But yeah, we're gonna be wrapping these lights with this wrap. To start off, we're gonna, you wanna make sure your, your lights are clean. So these are brand new, so they're not really dirty or anything. So these are pretty much ready to go. And then you want to measure out how much of the material we, we're going to use. So for this light, see, you might be able to use one sheet for. So yeah, I think I might use Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna use one sheet for both of them just because they, they fit. And I'm just gonna cut it off at the end. We will need a heat gun, so I'm gonna go to my heat gun. So we will be using a heat gun today. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, you can probably get away with using a, a hair dryer. But a heat gun obviously will work best. And we are gonna be doing a waterless installation, which means we're not gonna be spraying any water on these headlights or vinyl. Well, not vinyl, I mean water on this tent. We're just gonna be uh, heating it up and laying it right on top. With, uh, with the right one. We're gonna heat up the, the headlight a little bit so the surface is a little hot. And uh, we're gonna also heat up the vinyl wrap or the vinyl tint. sides to this uh, wrap. One's going to be the sticky side and one's going to be the side protected by the plastic film so you don't scratch it. So make sure you're peeling off the right one first. You'll be able to feel the difference once you peel it. One side's going to be sticky, one side's not. So if you peel the non-sticky side, you peel off the wrong one. That one's until the end. Perfect.
And that's how you tint your headlight. Pretty simple. You can just repeat the process. The other one. And it's funny if you get little bubbles at the end because over time with the heat, they'll just uh, separate and evaporate. But yeah, pretty simple. Interesting. And no, these aren't for me. Well, these are for me, but not for me. So, because I told you guys I'm doing custom headlights. So I bought a pair of headlights, but I'm only going to keep the top pair, not these bottom ones. And I'm going to keep my original bottom ones that I have right now. So once those two get customized, I'm going to end up selling these bottom ones with my old top ones. So I'll have these for now, but once my headlights are completely customized and done, then these will go for sale. But yeah, other than that, here's a little video of me doing the other one. Thank you.